Hello you guys and welcome to my channel. Today I want to show you how to use a boolean operation and also a displays modifier in 3ds Max. Now I'm going to create two primitives. The first one is going to be a box but I just need to go into my perspective view to see it full screen. So Alt W to make it full screen and zoom in a bit and I'm going to make a box. Now my second object is going to be a cylinder and I'm going to move this cylinder inside the box because this is how I want um, my cylinder to cut the box. So let's, let's make it like this. I'm going to move the cylinder down a bit because I want to make sure it makes a hole, a proper hole. Now, with this cylinder selected, I'm clicking here on this little arrow. I'm going to Compounds Objects, and I'm going to Boolean, and we're going to make an, a subtraction. So let's click on Subtract. Now, Add Operands, and I'm clicking on the box as well. And this box needs to be on Subtract as well. Now, depending on the object's order, they make a subtraction. So for example, if my cylinder is the first one in order, uh, we're going to subtract from the cylinder the box. If I'm moving the box first, the box is going to be cut with the cylinder. If you're happy with what you have here, just apply a convert to poly and this is now your shape. Move it around. I'm deleting this because I will show you now how you can use the displace modifier. For the displace modifier, I'm using a picture from Pinterest that has a black background for the contrast. Of course, you can do this in Photoshop and invert it but I already found this image on Pinterest. Now, I need to see the dimensions of this image. So, going to the properties, and the size is, in the details, is 330 by 809, and I'm gonna create a plane with these dimensions. So I'm here in the front view, I'm going to play, And I'm going to modify the size. It's going to be 809 by 330. So this is the size of my image. I need to increase the segments. So I'm going to put many segments 200 by 200. And with this plane created now, I'm going to apply a modifier, displace, and I'm going to add the image that I just told you about. Now I'm going to go to my perspective view. I'm using clay, but of course you can use colors. And I'm adjusting the strength just going up. As you see the image is not that clear so I'm going to adjust as well the blur. You can do this until you are happy with the shape. Okay now for me it looks quite good. Now if you want you can remove the background basically. So to use the background, we're going to use the body on operation that I just told you about. So I'm going to create a box. Now I'm going to here, box. I'm going to try to make it same size. And I'm going up. And default shading because I need to see both colors. Now, in my top view, I can move 
my last box created around and I can actually be sure I'm doing it right. Yes, I'm pretty happy with how it looks. And now I'm going to create a Boolean operation. So I'm going to standard, compound objects, Boolean, and subtract. And then I'm going to add operands, which is my plane. You need to wait because it has many, many lines and segments. So that makes, makes it hard for the program to adjust. I'm going to put subtract on this one as well. You need to wait again. Now remember, we just need to change the order. So I'm going to put the box in front of the plane. I just need to wait. There you go. You have the shape. Now, of course, this one it's not so exact, so you cannot really use this for good details. But if you don't need a close up, of course, you can use it. Now we're going to do uh, as we've done before I'm going to apply an edit poly modifier. And now I'm just moving it around as a normal object. Guys, thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions, please leave them in the commentaries below and I'll see you next time.